still remember life before the war. I remember that we used to be different. We used to live up there, on the surface. We used to be the masters of the whole world. We built gigantic cities of glass and steel. We crossed the oceans at will. And we also conquered the skies. There used to be seven billion of us. We were not born for life in the tunnels. I was born to breathe fresh air, and I remember it. The seven billion were wiped out by the last war. Only 50,000 managed to survive underground, with the surface poisoned, burnt, and teeming with horrible monsters. One day, the radiation on the surface might subside, and our grandchildren, or their grandchildren, might be able to return there. At least that's what my brothers in arms from the Order believe. Basically, there was no hope for us right off the start. Still, we humans are just too bad at surrendering. We tried to make the best of what we had, banded together, and worked to make the Metro our new home. After all, it might well be the only place left on Earth for humans to live. For a time, we thought we could make it, but, regrettably, the war didn't kill our bad habits. In the relative safety of the tunnels, corruption festered. And when danger came from above the ground, only a few of us stood against it. Our numbers dwindling by the day. But I remember we were born for a better life. And I can't accept that I'm destined to grow old and die underground. I don't care if I'm called an idiot. But if even a single shard of the old world still exists out there, I have to find it. Between endless years of hopeless existence and even a single moment of hope, I must choose hope. I must find that signal.
Камон, Артём, стой у нас. Artyom, are you awake? It's okay. The doctor said you'll be fine. Are you trying to kill me with worry? What if next time you don't return from the surface? There's no one out there, Artyom. No one to find, no one to talk to. If there was, don't you think they'd be here already? We've talked about this again and again. You have to accept it. There's only us. Colonel. Hello, Alex. There you are, you stubborn fool. How many times are we going to have this conversation? I don't care if you kill yourself over this silly dream of yours. But don't you see what you're doing to my daughter? Your wife? Dad, please. The order is short on men after the battle for D6, but you leave. People need you, and you pursue your selfish obsession. But now this shit has to stop. There's only Metro, nothing else. And the order is here to defend it. Because if not us, then who? You look fine to me. So get ready to go. Then, we'll discuss your transfer to Polis. Come, we need to talk. I'll get the doctor. Artyom, please, promise me this was the last time. I'll see you later. Artyom, we managed to bring you back from the brink, but... People are giving you their blood, which could save so many wounded, and you keep bringing it back irradiated. Don't you think that is unfair? Let me put it this way. I can't promise I'll be able to bring you back next time. Spartans are damn good. They brought Artyom here just in time. They sure are. I cannot remember the last time I saw a bunch of healthy and fit people down here. Yeah, me neither. <coughs> it's a shame that Uncle Artyom, don't worry. I believe huh? you. Well, sadly, it's their job. <coughs> uh, job or no job, if they keep doing that. You must come well, back to not everyone can stand being picked up on you. Oh, I can't believe my eyes! Artyom! You're all right! You gave us a scare, you, brother! Artyom! How are you, friend? I Pardon see you're me, all right. gentlemen, give way! This calls for a celebration. Artyom. A few more scars and you will be completely irresistible to any woman! Speaking of which, Alyosha, how are you so now, guys? Huh? Could you just stop crowding him? Uh, Where him back, Artyom? Ah, uh, uh, Privyat, Artyom. All right, you're all dismissed. 
I give you two hours, people. Yeah! yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. it's official. Yeah. I knew it. Well, you guys are like so I brought something. And here we go again. <laughs> Please, let's not repeat the last Hold time. Hold on, Artyom. I can hear is that Geiger counter ticking. <sighs> Why, yes, and there's also those damn things calling all the time. Let's go home, dear, please. Don't you think I'd also love to live on an ocean beach or in a green forest? But what good are these fantasies in a silent world? Silent, Artyom? Because it's dead. We took our time. Time to replace our filters. Move it. We don't need any extra radiation, darling. Oh, Father will kill me if he finds out I went up with you. <laughs> Twice if he learns we've been to a Hansa off limit zone. <clears throat> Have you been to all these ruins? <sighs> See all the destruction. And Moscow had the best anti air defenses in the country. If this is how it looks now, imagine how the rest of the world looks. away. It was getting too comfortable here. Look, maybe you should come back to the order. We'll move to Polis. Dad says he'll arrange a flat for us. Because if not us, then who? A flat. With a kitchen and a shower. Let's go in turns here. It's not stable enough. Your turn now. Well, I'd say we're out of the woods. Whoa! Hear that? Here. So, do we turn this place into Thermopylae, or do we let them pass? Wait it out. Looks like that was all of them. I'm glad they didn't notice us. That was a large pack. 
Oh, is this why the zone is off limits? I mean, if all the packs here are like that. Oh, is this why the zone is off limits? I mean, if all the packs here are like that. We take the bridge to cross the railroad. It would save us a detour. Damn, too high. Hey, Hatyam, help me get up there. Shit! Come up now. Did you hear that, Artyom? Something loud, roaring. At least it was far away. Now that's what I call a blizzard! Can't see a thing! Or here! Let's switch the radios! <sighs> what the... Artyom, are you seeing this? I'm not just imagining things, right? You should have checked first, assholes! Artyom, thank God. These people, they're Hansa, not the Order. Assholes. They did a number on you. Well, Dad will rip them a new one for that. What's going on in this Moscow of yours, anyways? Of yours? You're putting this like you're not from here. We aren't. Our village is about 200 kilometers from here. What village? You're not from Moscow? Just a regular village. We came here to find the boy's father. Left for Moscow about a year ago and never came back. But then we got caught by this here. You mean there's life outside? Why wouldn't there be any? Sure, there are lots of bad places and lots of beasts around, but we still get by. Artyom, you were right. People really do live out there. We didn't know. We thought we were the only survivors. God, we'll tell the whole Metro about this. The heck and the boy out! Hey, you people drove us halfway to nowhere. They can handle it. At least give them their masks back.
Attention! The turntable is switching off! We won't accept this shit again, okay? Animals. How can they? What can I do? The mutant? The watchman? A human? How did you? Oh. oh my god. It's you she's been screaming about. Alive! You came for her? All right. I'll help. Finally. I'll be of some use. Okay, they took the girl to the base chief for interrogation. I can't take you to the main entrance, too many guards, but we may sneak in from the back. Let's go. Don't rush, though. If they notice you, we're both done for. Wait. You better not walk into the light. Let's do it this way. You sneak to the lighting panel and disable it. Well, Again. Looks like they didn't finish the repairs at the generator, Sergeant. Zanya, go tell the workers. Move crouched. It's quieter that way. Oh, you turned quite civil again, Yermak. Stay so close to the wall. Your head after all. <laughs> Yermak, is that you? What are you mumbling? Technician, Come here and help me fix this. Yes, sir. Got me already. Come on, come on. Fixing this should be nothing for you. To take him down. Can you do it quietly? Come on, move it. You old drag of bones. Don't sweat. What's with that mumbling?
Wait, wait a moment. Wait. He's looking this way, and we need to get to that door. This is trouble. Great. Now throw it. <laughs> Before they recover. Get ready, people. Guards! You have to go sneak through the courtyard. Take the door the guards are coming through. Move Here, it. quick! Let's go! Oh, I'm over a Who are you? Andrei Ivanovich Yermak, the train engineer. Run now! Just get to that hangar and then go to it. I'll get you out of here. They know me, so I'll get there easily. Why are you helping us, Andrei Ivanovich? I had... Uh, ah, uh, I guess I'll tell you later. I hope. Hey guys, Be careful. Hey. Hey. Artyom, I see the enemy. Give me a boost. 
can't really see well with the snowstorm. Don't forget your visibility gauge, Asyon. If you don't move too fast and don't come out into the light, you'll be harder for them to notice. Don't turn your flashlight on either, they could notice. Asyon, incoming two of them. I'll give you some cover from above. Center came under enemy attack. One down. All unauthorized persons are to be fired upon the enemy. The hangar is right there. Civilian the personnel movement is prohibited until further notice. Attention! The jamming system is coming back online.
the guards won't let us get away. We have to do something about them first. Young man, the place is crawling with guards. They must be dealt with. Get to your Mac. Am I glad to see you here? Are you all right? I'm fine, thank you. All right. We don't have much time. They'll be back. I'll go to the engine. It should be ready now. You go up there Come and on, switch Jim. the turntable mechanism on. And please, be careful. We could easily have the whole base on us. More guards! Get them! We're running out of time. Oh, 
was intense. Are you okay? Hey, there's a manual drive on the platform. It's hard to Are drive. It's just a little bit... together. just made a huge mess, and I can't go back to Moscow now. The wartime legislation dictates they'd be killed. In any case, I have to get them out of town until it all blows over. But you all should stay. Hear me, Major? My people are in no way related to... It's not my call, and you know. ...misunderstanding. Well, I'll general. fight for the guys no matter what. Of course. Artyom, Anna, they are the with us. The no one behind. It's it's not all right, Spartans, throw these overboard and full steam ahead! Come with me, Artyom. Let's catch the air. I'm so glad the boys supported us. It looks like my father didn't say a word to them about this either. We spent 20 years in Metro, thinking the rest of the world was burnt to a crisp in the war. But they just circled Moscow with those jammers, and we were none the wiser. How perfect of them! Getting irradiated on the surface, my father just kept lying! Lying to you, to me, to everyone! The whole fucking world! And not even batting an eye! Uh! Come out with 
That was just a warning. If you do not comply, we will shoot to kill. Fuck me, that's some armor. And look at all the machine guns. Happy now? Is this what you were hoping How for? How is this his fault? You knew everything and never said anything. Stop the engine immediately! Oh fuck! Are you okay? Yeah, just a scratch. Okay, uh, okay, you stop uh, it. But I must warn you, our brakes are not in great condition. Yarak, start slowing down. Let them think we are surrendering. Ah, yes, finally some good sense. Now, keep braking to a stop. Rocket and Ace will barely scratch their pain, so... How about from the inside? Not enough explosives. Unless we put everything we have in their firebox. Please, let me do it. Colonel, sir! I will be appointing the volunteers here. Our team will do it. Why Artyom? Because he started the talk, and he better do something about it. Artyom, leap over as soon as we slow down. I will distract him in the meantime. Plastic it's it's you, you yeah, so cut the shit, Miller. There's nowhere to go. You've never been out here. We have. We weren't going to go far. Just go to town for a bit till the excitement quiet down. And you just open fire. Will you let us go if we stop? I have to detain you and bring you back to face trial. You do understand the charges you're facing, right? Desertion. Treason. Are you fucking kidding me? Me? A traitor? You tell me, where are you taking that train, huh? On a simple joyride? No. I see only one answer. You've been fought and you're running back to your master. So the verdict has already been passed. We won't even see a trial. Cut that shit out. What are you carrying, man? Defense plans? You want to buy yourself a seaside retirement for our lives, you damn cripple? Plans? Treason? We have served you people without question for years! We have spilled our blood for the cause! You sold out! They destroyed us and you! I have been a soldier my whole life! I have dedicated my life to my people, my country! But I'll be damned if I give it to parasites like you! Hold on! 
we are not just traitors. We are honest to God enemy saboteurs. Still, this amazing piece of news doesn't really impress anyone that much. Why their own faces? We are at a crossroads, so to speak, where everybody can help but wonder. What next? Where do we go from here? Hmm, yes. More or less what I expected from you. But you got the picture. So, is your counter functioning? Have you checked it? Yes, it's all green. Double checked it. Stepan's in the green too. We don't need masks here. So, they were telling the truth. Who was telling the truth? Why won't you answer? Who were those people trying to kill us? Why would they shoot at you, the Order's commander? Explain something, at least you owe us that! Well... I might as well drop the bomb now. The war did not end. What do you uh, mean, what? did not end? Let me finish. Most of our cities are destroyed. The rest of the country is probably under enemy occupation. To avoid new nuclear attacks against us, Command chose the only viable course of action. To play dead. To ensure radio silence, the shield system was created. A network of radio jammers covering Moscow and suburbs so that some radio enthusiasts wouldn't bring more bombs down on our heads by whining on air. And it's one of these jammers that got disabled by the hands of those present here. Could you not have shared that before? Say, Alan before Artyom took that radio outside and caught all that radiation? No! I only got briefed half a year ago under a strict you talk, you die policy. And then had to tell my people we were securing a weather station. Sir, with all due respect, if we can't go back, maybe we should advance and move on? I have an idea, but... Uh... Artyom, rather than carrying on with this silent disapproval of yours, check the airwaves. We should be out of the jamming range by now, so give it your best try. And look for transmissions from the Ark. <sighs> Do you understand now why we are traitors in the eyes of command? We shut down a jamming station, shot up the guards, destroyed a patrol train, and ran away from Moscow. <sighs> Who even needs a trial when the case is so clear? There's no way back now. Which means we have to continue moving forward. Command, what are you talking about? The Moscow Defense Command. Have you ever heard of the Invisible Watchers? I have, but they're just an urban legend. Not at all. They are command. Are you sure they care for more than just protecting their asses? You mentioned the Ark. What's that all about? If Artyom finds their signal, you'll figure everything out. Otherwise, there is nothing to talk about. Do you think finding that Ark of yours is going to fix everything? I do not. But if you have a better idea, then go ahead. Yes, I do. Wait a moment, what was that? Listen, everyone! Area 18-5. I repeat, proceed to the rally point. Rally point location is code 1811. Dash Where was the number supposed Area to be? Area 18 Got dash it. 5. Only by so standing together shall we overcome any and all the The Yamantar Mountain. So the route from here should go uh, like this. This is our goal. So is this what you had in mind? Yes, this is it. The Ark Project is a whole city underground. Enormous stores, machines, the best experts. It is the Commander General's HQ. All of the country's leaders are there. They have already started the restoration work. We will tell them that Moscow is alive. It wasn't all for nothing. Everything will change. Everything. Do you get it? A 
new life is starting for all the survivors of the world. <laughs> oh, by the way, are there any single women in that place? <laughs> Great reaction. So I think the moment calls for... <clears throat> Bring it out to me. Bring what out, Colonel? Sir. The thing that's been sloshing about in your canteen. Do you think I'm deaf or what? Ah, that. Just a moment. I thought my ears were deceiving me. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a short trip to the Urals, so we should make ourselves comfortable, I guess. Well, let's name this bucket of bolts at the very least, eh? It's about time! Let's go around and be done with you. <laughs> nah, go to hell! <laughs> Even better! Oh, come How about on! Aurora, the Roman goddess of dawn and a cruiser of, uh, uh, you know what? That's better! <laughs> Not bad, I like it! Ah, beautiful name! Sounds okay, but the cruiser of what? Yeah, I'll tell you later. Looks like it's decided. <laughs> Let's drink to the Hey, Artyom, let's take a look at that map. All right, we had a round that should be enough. You're back. Full steam ahead. Hi. Uh, Full oh, steam uh, ahead. Uh, wow, uh, that's yeah, some I distance. I wonder how long it will take. How are you, Alyosha? Oh, Anna. I was expecting an arrow from a Kilton, but I got a bullet from an ugly, ugly motherfucker instead. <laughs> <laughs> you sure you're okay? Because I know you. After all those years in the underground, the air of the surface seemed incredibly fresh, intoxicating. But that was not what had caused the crew's euphoria. Our journey finally got a definite purpose provided by the transmission from the government bunker in the Urals. For 20 years, we thought that neither the government nor military high command had survived. Turns out they're still around. Where were they while we were eating each other alive in the metro? We'll have a lot of questions for them once we reach Yamantau, if we reach it. The ruins of our country are under enemy control, according to Miller, and we'll have to fight through to our goal. A small team against the occupation armies? What are the chances that we'll succeed, that we'll get some answers? Anything off yet, darling? <laughs> Here, let's warm you up a little bit. So, what do you think our chances of getting to Yamantau alive are? It's the only thing on my father's mind. How to earn his forgiveness, get back to Metro and his old life, the life you had always been running from. And to think, I never believed you. And now I'm looking at this fog, thinking it could actually be hiding our new life from us. By the way, we should be approaching the bridge soon. Damn it! A campfire! People! There are people there! Hit the bridge! Shots fired! Four bogies on a trolley! Oha! Report to the bridge! On the double! you should probably get to the bridge! Are you alright, 
Station. They pierced the cylinder. How bad is it? Can we move? No, we're stuck. Ah, oh, shit. Damn fog. Seems we ran through someone's roadblock. Who was it? Any uniforms? None. They were wearing rags. Just some old farts. Old farts, huh? That's just the perimeter guard. They could have put anyone there, even women and children. Do you really think we found them, Colonel? Well, we can't be sure. I was expecting to run into them much earlier. The trolley is headed towards the bridge. Some fortifications there. This looks peaceful. A village and a church on the water. We need intel. Here, Artyom. I put a mark on your map. Get there and find out what you can about that bridge. Taking a prisoner would be ideal. Anna, you cover him. Yes, sir. May I go with Artyom too? As backup? No. Until we figure out our situation, you are not to take a step away from the Aurora. These two can handle themselves just fine. Yermak, when can you get the Aurora running again? Yeah, I don't know yet. I gotta check on that cylinder, but a full day at least. I see. Let's go, Artyom. Then. Spartans, let's prepare the Aurora for a defensive action. Artyom, don't forget to your backpack. It's a new model. A portable workshop, so to speak. The manual is inside. It doesn't come with crafting materials, though, so keep an eye out for those. Let's move out, Artyom. Just be careful out there. Sure thing. I gotta say, that was one flimsy roadblock. And those guys. Well, they didn't look like army men at all. Just old men. Be careful out there. Remember, most of the country has been destroyed or occupied. Even those who speak our language might be enemies, by conviction or out of fear. Got it? Do you hear that bell? We must have given them a good scare. Maybe they served the enemy. Enslaved or something. Going down. <laughs> <laughs>